tap and yes, clear down the beer. <laughs> so you can, you can kind of go, so warm. You can lube it up a little bit. Yeah. Good morning from the farm. We're at my friend's house, my friend Tia. We're at their farmhouse in like, what would you call this? Central Washington? <laughs> and it's a lot of fun. So we're gonna have a lot of fun today. We're having a little sleepover tonight. It took us three hours to drive here from Seattle. So we just drove up. Actually, Tia went to high school with me, and so we're old friends. And she said, hey, come hang out with us for the weekend, and we'll, the kids can play outside. She has three kids, like exactly my kids' ages, so it was perfect. Yeah. Tell them real quick, like, what's on this farm. So we live on the corner of a crop field. They lease out the farm around us, and so currently that's mint. But the crops that they do are potatoes, hay, cherries, apples, corn, sometimes peas. Some of the crops like peas and stuff change. That's kind of, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. So yeah, should we're gonna have hair. lots of fun. I just pulled my hair back in a ponytail. I should have like made it no. look like a cute <laughs> no. ponytail. It is a cute ponytail. Ooh, you're chomping on that carrot, girlfriend. What do you think, Zach? Would you ever live on a farm like this? You know, I don't know. I think I could. It'd be hard to be away from like all like the easy grocery shops and restaurants and fun stuff like that, but it's just such a fun, relaxing like life out here. Yeah, it's like so wide open. Their, their closest neighbor is like half a mile away. You gotta be real soft, because you don't want to be scared. But then get your chum here and put it right next to this little bottle holder. Start putting this, there you go, look. Oh! Oh! There's no milk, silly. Are you guys riding in the back of the truck? Hey guys, these ones are really, really mean. If you, you never get in the pen with a bull because they can charge you, stick their head on. There's bulls, and then what's a cow? Nicer, yes, but cows are the girls that give milk. And then what's a heifer? The heifer is a cow. That's a baby girl. Oh Stampede. Wow, look at all these guys coming over. Yeah. Say hi. Hi, cows. Can you wave? Say hey, girl. He was telling us that these cows are heifers and they're just like teenage girls. <laughs> like they just, they're really social, so they just come hopping on over whenever they see people here. They're really cute. I really like them. Oh, that mom says, hey, you better watch out. <laughs> Yay! Every single cow, after it's, after it's had a baby, you need to go in and make sure there's not a second baby in there because the cow won't deliver the second one naturally. Or so it'll end up dying and probably killing the cow. So, left arm. <laughs> are you right-handed or left I'm right-handed. Left arm. In case he pulls so you out of socket, okay. you don't take your good arm out. You. Oh, you yeah. gotta watch, bro. Oh yeah. My first, <laughs> my first wedding ring Sorry. is in a cow's. So I should take my wedding ring. Okay. So wrap it right around there. Yep, the bottom hole. That's the top hole. There you go. <laughs> Zach's the best <laughs> person to force to do this because he'll do it. So now put your fingers in kind of like this to make a funnel to get in there. Where am I going? The bottom. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you want to be centered. Is it going? Keep going. The cap will be clear down here. So, you can kind of go. It's so warm. Lube it up a little bit. Oh my goodness. It feels like it's tight. Move it up some more. Right away. Well, the cap will be clear. The head will be able to spill ahead way down in here. But I'm like not supposed to feel ahead, right? Yeah, if you feel ahead, then we got to get, we got to pull it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you gotta go farther than that. I'm not feeling ahead. No head? No. Alright. It would be pretty obvious. Okay. So you're good. So this this cow is also getting an IV of calcium 
because she'll start giving a lot of milk here shortly. So if she doesn't have plenty of calcium in her body, there's a lot of uh, complications that can go wrong with a fresh cow. So we give her an ID of calcium, check for twins, and then she's ready, ready to go. Did you get splattered? I don't think so. How'd you do? You look, you look good. Look like you survived. Your ham sanitizer over here? How is it? It was interesting. It was so warm. <laughs> That's really weird. Just like you'd imagine. It's it's like really like open on the inside, right? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's like tight, but like I could I could move my hand like this much. Wow. <laughs> You're, they're gonna love this video. Yeah. Okay, my camera died, so now I'm on my phone. Camera. We're gonna go see the parlor now. Oh, let me show you the semen first. Oh. <laughs> yeah, semen. Semen. Cool. So there's no hand milking going on around here? Nope, all that here. Okay, so where's where her jacket go? Oh, mommy. So the cows come in, the cows like to come in here. So you'll see, these cows are almost all done getting milk. So this gate will lift up, all 56 of these cows will walk out, the gate will come back down, and then 56 new cows will just walk themselves in. Really? You don't have to push them, they just, they walk to get in here, because this is a place they associate with getting milk, and yeah. they like it, they enjoy it. So they'll just walk in themselves. And then you can see on the end here, Pops up. <laughs> I want to. I'm so bad at trying things. What does it taste like? Warm, creamy milk. milk. Does it warm taste like milk? milk? It's like warm milk. Like you get a Starbucks? A steamer. It's a steamer. steamer. Good for me. All right. Wait. Cheers. Thank you. Are you gonna try the whole thing? Thank you. Tastes like warm milk. Tastes like warm milk. <laughs> Very normal. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> it's actually like that right there is for the jersey, so that's probably a lot fattier. It's probably twice the fat content of it's warm like, milk. It's like bread. Smart. Okay, so we just got some lunch and now we're back at the farmhouse. Um, Bo, uh-uh, stop grabbing those kitties. And we're kind of letting the kids do their own thing now and Bo likes to chase after the kitties. You're okay, keep walking, just don't fall down. <laughs> but that was really fun, going to the dairy and meeting that cute family and seeing like all their work on the dairy, like that's just, a totally different life than what we are living right now. And it's so cool for me to be able to see how other people live and just like realize that there's like different ways of life that like just because you grew up doing something or just because you Bo let go of that cat's tail. Just because there's some way that you grew up doesn't mean that that's the only way to live and that that's the only way to be happy in your family life. You know what I mean? Getting all philosophical here on our trip to the farm. Okay, moving on. Raise your hand if you want sour cream. Our kids. <laughs> Vivian, sour Our kids don't get it. Kids, what, Vivian would eat sour cream plain. She does actually. <laughs> they treat it like sugar. Yeah. So we should just do plain Which is Greek funny, yogurt instead. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you need to get your chili. Okay. Oh, so he likes it. Yeah, oh, he likes it now. <laughs> Piper, did you try it yet? No, not yet. It's hot. Oh, okay. Whoa, look at Landon downing it. <laughs> Someone's worked up an appetite. It's not a race, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.